Do you know how much it costs to have uh, the size of your lips increased? As in to become puffy, more flesh? Do you know how much that costs? Do you know how much it costs for to do a boob job? <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Catherine and today I'm going to talk about the four most expensive body parts and most dangerous body parts, expensive and dangerous body parts of an African woman. For those of you who don't know me, I talk about many topics, about anything. So get ready for anything by liking, sharing, and subscribing to me, Kathy channel. So number one, the lips. The lips. <laughs> you hear that Africans have lips so huge, you know? We are more normally criticized that we have very huge lips and I don't know. But at the same time, the same people who are criticizing our huge puffy lips are going to extremes of going for very expensive surgeries to get the same kind of lips. Imagine, these same puffy lips, somebody is paying not less than $2,000, between $2,000 to $6,000, to get the same thing. Us guys have them naturally. Why is it dangerous? It's dangerous because, you know, they have fillers. You have to be injected with fillers to get the same result of the lips. Hmm? These fillers, do you know what they have? <laughs> My goodness, if you know. These fillers, they have silicone. Silicone is one of the causes of body cancers. Causes cancers. It's a plastic generally being inserted into your body. This is not part of your body, so there are higher chances it can cause a cancer. Most cases it does. Scarrings mm? and fillers, you know, it's an injection. There are types of um, ways they try to make their lips big, you know. By putting lip fillers, by injections of paraffin. You know, initially it used to be paraffin, but I'm sure in some places they're still using paraffin paraffin in your body you know that thing that causes a fire <laughs> so imagine you're going to blow a candle and then your lips catch fire your lips will catch fire because you're trying to blow a candle because you have paraffin filled to get you the puffy lips and even the results are not so perfect most of the time you end up with Lips that don't look like your face. They're not part of your face. They don't flow with your face. Too huge. Hmm? You know, when God is making you, he knows the kind of lips he's giving you and why. They suit your facial features. But you don't go putting lips that don't suit your facial features onto your face. It's crazy. It's just like, how do I describe it? wearing the wrong size of clothes or something of the sort, you know. You know, it just looks like it has been placed there. Bam! It's a part of you. That is, if you go to shoddy jobs, and because it's very expensive, most of the people go for the shoddy jobs. Because, you know, lip fillers, how often you need to fill up the lips? Every six months. So every six months, you're going to be spending $2,000 to 6000 between 2 and 6000 dollars just to fill up your lips this is a very expensive and dangerous affair you're injecting things in your body things that don't belong there and then there are some who go for lip implants you know these are like permanent you don't have to go for refills 
problem if it is a mess if it's messed up you know and you cannot afford to do a surgery you can imagine how, how what effect the surgery has on your body scars so if the doctor or the surgeon who you're going to is lousy and messes up your lips and you went for the permanent one you are done permanent lip augmentation you will forever be like that huge lips bigger than the size of your nose they go beyond your nose you know it looks funny mm. but they're happy for that and at the same time making fun of the african lips crazy the lip implants and then another thing that the african women have that is very expensive and at the same time dangerous at <laughs> the buttocks the ass you know most people call the african ladies the s ladies you know letter s s you know because they have big buttocks and they have big boobs so most of the time the foreigners will be calling the us these s ladies you know the s ladies because of the oh, because of the figures but at the same time they will be going very far trying to be s trying to get this s increasing your buttocks you know the same thing that is done to the lips is done on the buttocks dangerous injections to augment the buttocks because the African women are endowed with huge backs. Not all of them, though, but majority have a huge behind. So people are trying to copy them. Well, this is the genetics of an African person. So when you have to try and copy the same thing, of course, you're going to have the consequences. You imagine once you have paraffin injected into your ass or silicone injected into your ass or whatever grafting is done pieces of meat from other parts of the body put onto your ass you're not gonna sit for months <laughs> i was watching another video and i was just laughing at a woman she's having an interview while lying on the bed because she has her ass under surgery it's healing from uh, ass augmentation she cannot sit for months because if she sits the ass will be flat or whatever happens for some people it becomes as hard as a rock you know your ass is as hard as a rock because you were trying wait a minute because you're trying to make it bigger and then in the process something goes wrong and it becomes hard so you'll be carrying a heavy load behind you an expensive heavy load that sometimes can cause amputation of your feet or something of the sort something at the end of the day has to be removed from your body because you're trying to get an ass that is not part of you that's very dangerous another expensive african part You know the boobs the boobs most African women have naturally huge boobs okay so you'll see people making fun of the s-shaped ladies at the same time trying to look like them by injecting silicone into the look at Dolly Parton injecting silicone into their boobs dangerous cancerous some of them at the end of the day have to go and remove the whole thing you were trying to get it but you became like a table at the end of the day because of the infections that you came up with scarrings 
oozing of all sorts of stuff because of trying to get huge boobs. What is that now, guys? That is dangerous. All I will say is people should just appreciate what they have as long as it works. <laughs> as long as it does its work. You know, when God was making these things, he knows they work. Yeah, they work. Then the last thing that is natural. Now, this is not just for women. All Africans, you're only black-skinned people. They have melanin. We don't have to go and burn in the sun trying to get tanned. We already have the enough melanin. So, these people trying to get a tan. Well, tanning is not what it looks like. There is a lot of danger in the rays of the sun. They carry with them cancer. You're not just lying there like a lizard enjoying the sun but you are activating the cancer cells as well. So what I will advise people is be happy with what you have, okay? Appreciate your lips no matter how small. They can still help in talking as long as you can talk. They can kiss if that is the problem. Appreciate your boobs. They still do their work. If you're a woman and you're gonna have babies, I don't, I, I don't think be, just because of the size of your boobs, the milk cannot pass through. It will still pass through. The buttocks, appreciate your buttocks as long as they can see it. I don't see the problem. Whether they look like a table, whether they look like a, a ball, whether they're as small as a tennis ball or as huge as a basketball, they can still sit. So appreciate what you have as long as you can sit. Mm. The skin. The color of your skin. Appreciate it. As long as it's, it's protecting you. It is the biggest organ on the, on the body, but it does its work. It has its work no matter what color. Okay? As long as you take care of it, depending on how the amount of melanin you have, you still have to take care of it. Even the black skin, we still need to take care of it from the sun. We still use sunscreen to protect it from all the sun rays. Okay? So guys, let's appreciate what we have. And don't try to make your life so dangerous by injecting stuff into your body ciao see you in my next channel for the next topic subscribe like and share bye